everybody and welcome back to my channel Whimsy Fox here and I hope that this finds you all feeling really well I've been sick for a well, I've been sick for a while and my voice has been going in and out and my cough is here and there but I am back to do this video I've been wanting to do ever since my sister uh, Karina Davis has um, made the uh, 21, this is a 21 Q&A that is um, came up with from one, a YouTuber named Mila Vanderbilt. I will put her information in the description below plus also the 21 questions. If anybody out there would like this challenge, you would like to do this challenge, it's always fun and it's a great way for us all to get to know each other a little bit better and to find out about our own personal SL experiences. I'm also putting in Karina's informi information in the description below. So let's go ahead and get started with these questions, shall we? Now I wrote them down in paper and my writing is so-so, so hopefully I can read my own writing. <laughs> Okay, as you guys can see over uh, my SL time, I have changed my look some. I have the uh, Guinness head, strong face. Both me and my sister both have the same head, but we look slightly different because we are uh, twins, just not identical. That is part of our RP anyways, as you will see in her channel. She's doing our RP there. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with these questions, shall we? Okay, so question number one. When did you, when did you join SL? I believe that I joined again. Well, with this account, I joined, I believe it was May of last year. So we're going on a, a year now. But, um, we, I did join before. I joined back in, I think we joined uh, back in 2016 possibly. We had made accounts on Second Life back then, but we stopped coming on for a while because the laptop that I had right then was was pretty bad. It was an old notebook, so I couldn't, I couldn't move around very much. I couldn't see details very well. And we just stopped going for a few years. And then when we decided to get back into Second Life, we tried going on our old accounts. And for some reason, Second Life wouldn't let us on for whatever reason. <laughs> so we decided to create new accounts. And we started them back in, I believe it was May of last year. So question number two, how did you find out about it? Well, the way I originally found out about Second Life was I had started, okay, it all goes back to, I believe, the game Sims. Sims I was playing because at that time I didn't have the internet and I had missed social interaction with others. And this was, this the Sims game was actually the only way I could really feel like I was having some kind of social interaction online with other people even though they were all um, AIs, but it still gave that a little bit of a satisfaction. So I did that for a while, and then when we moved again, and I got my internet back, and I got um, my first little computer, which was a little notebook, <laughs> pretty small, but then I had joined um, a place called IMVU. I had found IMVU because I was walking around Target, and I had I had been looking for something I could do online that was like Sims where there was like some avatars that we could dress up and I was walking along Target and I came across a little card that they of course no longer sell at Target but it was the VIP card and I saw a picture on the cover of it that kind of looked like a, a Sims avatar so I like I have you hmm what's that so when I went home, I looked into it, I found out, discovered it was a free site that I could go to and I could join, I could create a character, I could earn credits, 
and so forth and so on which I had done and then I had heard about a place called Second Life. So at that time this was probably around 2011 I think so Second Life was still in its new baby phase so the avatars if any of you remember back in 2011 uh, until just probably recently the avatars were not very good looking they were pretty blah plain kind of ugly I felt anyways and very expensive it was very expensive just to because you had to buy everything you had to buy your hands your legs your feet your your hair you had to buy clothes you had to buy pretty much everything to try to make your avatar look I guess halfway decent so I stayed away from Second Life and I just looked into it but I I, I, I started, I tried it, I did like it, so I left it alone. And I had then joined a site called Trinity, if any of you are familiar with the site Trinity. So I joined that site, I think it was about in 2011. And it was, it was kind of like, it was kind of like here, but not exactly like here, but a lot, it was pretty similar, but not exactly. So I had done that for a while, and then I stopped and went back to Iron View, and then uh, my bestie came up with, and then Karina came up with the idea of Second Life, and I said, well, no, they're ugly, and she goes, no, they're not ugly, look, and she showed me a YouTube video, and I said, oh, well, I guess, you know, after years, there's bound to be improvements, right? And they just keep on improving, and keep making avatars look more realistic, and better looking, and just now our mouths move, our hands move, we have gestures, we can move a little bit more realistic, which is great. So, wow, that was a lot for just question number two. <laughs> oh, goodness, I hope this video isn't too long. Question number three, what's your zodiac sign? My zodiac sign in real is cancer. I was born in July, so yeah, so my zodiac sign in real is Cancer. Question number four. What was the first thing you can remember doing when you joined SL? I'm going to go back to the time when um, Karina and I first joined Second Life with our other avatars. Mine was Garnet Fay. <laughs> um, I think hers was Mayberry or something like that. What I remember back then was the first thing I remember doing when um, I joined SL, of course, is where you had to learn how to, you go into this room and you have to learn how to control your avatar, which I thought was really super hard to do. I thought, I'm never going to get this. This is impossible. I'm going back to IMVU where you just click on a button or you click on a dot and you're, zoom, you're there. <laughs> you don't have to walk or move around or anything. But I remember doing a lot of walking into corners, walking into the door, walking into windows, getting stuck, lagging, freezing, crashing. Yeah, that's pretty much what I remember the first thing I can remember doing when I joined SL. And which occasionally I do still walk into the walls, I do get stuck in corners, behind doorways, I still do crash, I still get laggy. But not as bad, because now I have a better laptop, and I don't suggest trying to do Second Life on a notebook, on a tiny notebook, because it's really, really, really difficult, and the graphics are not very good. Okay, let's carry on. So, question number five. Where was your favorite place to live in world? I have a feeling that this means what was my favorite place to live before they came up with these new homes. That's my guess. I could be wrong, but that's my guess. So if that was the case, where was my favorite place to live in the world was probably, I th oh gosh, I don't even know what they were called anymore. I know that it was like, um, there was like a land that kind of looked, the bunch of hills and the houses were kind of like in a triangle shape. They kind of looked like cabins and I think they had a fireplace inside. Um, these were the original homes before they came out with, of course, before the traditional homes and the boat houses and, and the campers and cabins and stuff. Uh, but that was 
I think that was my first place to live in world at first only because of the surrounding around my home where I happened to land even though I had to delete my home you know abandon land find a home abandon land find a home until you could find a place that was halfway decent and then you still had to deal with a bunch of people putting up those security lines so that they would you would get booted off of your next door neighbor's land. <laughs> it's like you just expect your an avatar to come out there with a big old rifle, shotgun, and say, "Off my land!" Oh, yeah. Get off my lawn! Oh, trespasser! Do you want to be eaten alive? No. Then get out of here! Yeah. So, <laughs> but that's. I think that was probably like my favorite place. My favorite place to live now would be in my camper that I have right now, which is in, I think it's like in Tickle Valley or Tickle something. And also on the land that I share with Karina, and that is Valencia Meadow and also Valencia Park. And so that is my favorite place to live now. Of course, you have to pay rent on the other land, not on this one. But this one, I still have to pay my premium because if you don't pay your premium, you're not allowed to even log in. So keep that in mind, guys. If you get premium, keep it up. Otherwise, you can't log in. Let's continue, shall we? Hmm. Question number six. What is your average day like when you log in? Okay. <laughs> well, that all depends, I guess. It depends on what I'm, what's going on at that time. Um, but basically, if when I log in, if I log in in the morning, it could be possibly just I log in and I go to where the last place I had, the last place I was, and I usually will go to change my outfit for the day. Try and put on. I try to. I try to wear a different outfit every day that I log in. Not always possible, but I do try. So it's either getting dressed for the day or unpacking all the stuff that I have bought previous the previous day, or I'm logging on to continue to decorate my land or decorate my home. Or it could be getting ready to go shopping if it's uh, Fridays or Saturdays. Then it could be getting ready to go shopping at the 50 linen sale or the Saturday sales because my uh, Karina and I, we do love to do a lot of shopping. We try to do most of the discount shopping that is around the weekend. That's basically what we do is we just get ready to go shopping. And shopping, I think, is the number, the number one thing that I do on here is either shopping, decorating, um, or just hanging out and chatting with my with uh, Karina. Yeah. Um, next we have question number seven. Do you text or voice with friends? Really, right now the only person that I really text with or that I really um, voice chat with would be Karina. She's really the only one that I do, and I do that all the time that I'm here. If she's here, then we chat. We either do voice chatting or we text. It's just depending. But that doesn't mean that I don't text other people. Um, I do like to text with people. I do like having conversations with others. I will, if I happen to be somewhere and I know someone who is wearing something nice or I just like their appearance or I just want to be friendly. I will I try to talk to everybody. If any of you have ever ran into me on Second Life, you will know that I could just walk up to a perfect stranger and sit them an I am and just say, Hi, how are you? How are you doing? Oh, I like your shoes. I like your hair. Um, you know, or or I'll just start talking about like, oh my god, this place, you know, where is the item for sale? <laughs> Where is the item for sale? Does anybody know where this item that is for sale is like, does anybody know where this item for sale is? You know, or I'll just randomly just start texting anybody or just talking to anybody. 
If you text me, I will text you back. Basically, that's the way I am. But I really don't have any friends here. <laughs> I feel so sad and lonely. I really, <laughs> I really don't really. I mean, I have a bunch of friends, I guess. You know, we, I add them as friends. But as really friends, friends, I don't really have anybody who really talks to me all the time. So, yeah. Anyways, um, question number eight. <laughs> oh, this carries on to question number eight, doesn't it? Oh dear. A lot of friends in SL are solo drifting. Well, <laughs> I pretty much answered that question in number seven. I have a lot of people who I've added as friends and in fact if you will talk to me in Second Life I will say hey you got you want to be friends or hey you want to add me you can add me if you like and so um, I add people and I do make friends here I just don't have any people who really I talk to on a day by day basis only occasionally and yeah so I, I'm, I'm not solo drifter if you see me on here I'm most of the time hanging out with my sister Karina bestie and real uh, sister on here as our part of our role play um, but yeah I don't really have any friends <laughs> Master's my friend. You don't have any friends. Nobody likes you. Okay, carry on. Next on our list, we have number nine. Question number nine. What would your dream version of SL look like? Uh, again, I'm not 100% sure what this question means. What would your dream version of SL look like? I think SL looks pretty damn good to me as it is. Um, they have made a lot of improvements over the years. Now that we actually can go visit people on the mainland, because I live on the mainland now in my camper, so I could go to the ocean, I could swim as far as I could go without, well, I can go as far as I can go until I'm booted <laughs> until I'm booted off of someone's land and that's always fun because I tend to accidentally walk into people's yards or drive into people's yards or ride a horse onto people's land I don't do it purposely and I also um, if I'm flying somewhere I may accidentally fly into somebody's space so I might get accidentally booted off and I don't mean to it's just that I can't move my avatar very well I don't know what it is but if you ever see my videos my exploring videos I walk like I'm drunk I talk like I'm drunk <laughs> but I'm not drunk I don't drink so I just high on life and drunk on experience yeah yeah we'll go with that so what was I even talking about Oh, what would your dream version of the SL look like? <laughs> oh goodness, sorry about that. I tend to get distracted very easily by what I'm talking about. And lose my train of thought along the way. Um, like I said, I think the SL looks great just the way it is. I don't have any dream version of what it would be. I think they've made a lot of improvements. Where I love that they've included a lot of streams, a lot of hills, a lot of rocks, a lot of nature. I really love nature and that's what I love about that um, next question we have is question number 10 what is your favorite holiday to celebrate in SL I think for me there's actually two so far I have not experienced Easter here I don't think no I have not experienced Easter here so I don't know how it is here yet but um, I have experienced Halloween and Christmas I really love Halloween because of the fact that you know I could really decorate like I really decorated my other house before I, I um, abandoned it and got the camper 
I decorated really cool. I had a fog. I had the rain. I had a storm. I had, you know, pumpkins and and um, jack o' lanterns and scarecrows. And I had a cemetery in the front yard. And I had all this fog and ghosts and witches and. It was really, really cool, and I really like Halloween because of that. Because I, I really love how everybody gets really into it, and they decorate, and the stores decorate, and places decorate, and that's what I really love about that. Christmas is really cool because everybody changes their the scenery for for Christmas Eve. They put Christmas lights, they add snow, uh, they add a bunch of you know Christmas decorations and Santa Claus and a lot of the Sims really go into it. And I have a lot of um, exploring videos if you guys uh, see my other videos where I have a few of the winter um, Sims that I have recorded and very very nice. I really like it. Um, question number where am I now? Question number eleven. If you could change one thing about SL, what would it be? <laughs> there are a couple things that I would like to change about SL if I could. Number one, get rid of the security things. Really, people, why? Why? If I want to go into your home and I want to, look, if you don't want me to go into your home and make myself coffee, and, and, and grab your donuts and your cookies off your table, then don't put them there for me to grab, to go in and grab them. Okay? It's simple as that. Alright? I think I said my piece there. <laughs> but basically, I'm not going to go into your room and sleep in your bed, unless it's really nice and comfortable and I was tired and I just happen to be in a neighborhood and I might, you know, accidentally enter your home through the door or the window and end up in your bed sleeping it's it's possible it's it's happened before so yeah but come on I mean I can't take your stuff I can't steal from you and you know if, if you have your house set so only you can control things I can't change your I can't I may be able to what change your rug I mean I really don't understand the the concept of the security orbs why am I getting booted off your land? Why you don't want me to see what you're doing, naughty things you're doing behind your doors? Well, guess what? I could actually zoom in with my camera and I could see what you're doing. I could go through walls. You know, the camera work goes through walls. So it's not like it's completely private. Um, so really, I, I can't take your stuff. You, If you have a coffee thing that has, or if you click touch, you get a free coffee. Guess what? I'm going to get my free coffee. You know? Hey. I like freebies. Who does not like freebies? And I will grab your stuff and I, yeah, I will take it. So maybe that's why. But come on, guys. You don't need to boot me off your land. I'm not going to do anything. I'm not going to destroy it. I can't steal from you. I can't, you know, pee on your rug. I mean, not that I would, but, you know, I'm just saying. Okay, that only happened once. That was once and one time only. But we don't talk about that event. Okay. But yeah, um, another thing I would change about SL, if I could, would the lag. The lag! The lag! Okay, so yeah. <laughs> I would change the freaking lag. It's like, oh, and the resing. It's like you go into a place and it's like, come on, I'm trying to make a show, a video here showing this great item and it's taking forever to res. I would change that. I would change the resing time. I would change the lag. You know, the freezing. Where you're walking, all of a sudden you're like, Ugh, and you just freeze, and then you move fast forward really, really fast because you're used to have your finger on the button to go forward, and you crash into a wall. Yeah, or the glitching, you know, the glitching where you're glitching into the walls or into your floor, into. Yeah, there's some things like that, little glitches here and there that I would change in SL if I could. Okay. Next on my list would be, which one are we at? Okay, question number 12. What do you wish you had more time for in SL? Shopping! <laughs> no. Um, I wish I had more time to explore this beautiful world. This beautiful world we have here in SL. Oh my gosh, there are just so many sims to, to explore. There are so many... There are so many places to go shopping at. There are just so many people to meet here. 
it's just so much so much I just don't have enough time I just don't have enough time to shop there are so many places here to explore on SL I just don't have the time to explore them all or, or everything that I want to do here I just don't have enough time because of course real must come first you know so hey what can you do you gotta you gotta eat you gotta drink you gotta use the bathroom you gotta shop for real and 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 pay bills and go to work and all that other kind of fun stuff question number 13 what is your all what is your all-time favorite store well ever since I started um, doing the secret sale Sundays I really like this store why not of course there's a lot of stores that I like but I like the store why not because they usually have a lot of really cool stuff there for sale a lot of nice items they go through a lot of details I mean uh, but you know if I was to name what my favorite store I my favorite store I'll tell you what my favorite store is my favorite store is the one is a store that always has the great deals and they always have their best products at really like 50 lindens or 75 lindens and they always have their best stuff out there they even have some some of their stuff as display so you can actually try out their furniture or you can actually see the item instead of just a picture you can actually see the item and I love the stores that give you demos so that you could try on the hair you could try on the skin you could try on the body you could try on the clothes you could try on the things without actually purchasing them first and that's always cool I love the stores my favorite stores are the ones that when they have an item on sale you teleport to the item you teleport right in front of the item that's for sale you don't have to go looking for the item that's my favorite kind of store so I have a few favorites I don't I don't want to name just one but why not which is at the top of my head so why not supernatural has a lot of beautiful jewelry uh, and uh, they're just <sighs> those are the two that popped into my head just at the top of my head and let's continue on so question number 14 says name one person on SL you stand I'm not 100% sure what a stand means, but I think I read something about a stand is a person that you, you, you like, you stalk, I guess. <laughs> I don't really have anybody like that. Nobody's really stalking me, and I don't stalk nobody. I have no reason to. Um, so there is nobody that I stand. If that is what stand is, I'd have to look up the meaning of the word. So, what is the meaning of the word Stan? Let's look it up. What is a Stan? An overjealous or obsessive fan of a particular celebrity. Who do I Stan? An over. He has millions of Stans who are obsessed with him and call him a rep. Oh, okay. Okay, well that explains it. So it says, name one person on SL you stand. Okay, there's nobody on SL that I stand. If I was to say, who do I stand in real life? It would be Andy Black from Blackfield Brides. That guy's just hot, what can I say? <laughs> okay, so next we have Number question number 15 name one thing you'd like to try an SL but never have name one thing I like to try an SL maybe a job maybe I like to try a job on SL um, you know I could uh, try a job on SL to earn lindens that might be nice I've never done that before so that might be something that I might like to try is a job on here you know something to look forward to every day or something where I can um, where I can be appreciated for my work and I acknowledge for my work and I get paid for it so yay so let's see where are we at now so question number 16 what's one hobby you miss and I guess this means in real 
I'm guessing, because I don't really have any hobbies on here. <laughs> One hobby that I miss. Um, I don't think I really have any hobbies that I miss. Um, particular, I mean, I still... I mean, my hobbies include... Kind of hobbies that I have is uh, making music videos. I don't miss making music videos because I still do occasionally. I still make videos, I still paint, and I still sew. Um, probably the only hobby that I could think that I have that I may miss is reading a book. I don't, I used to love to, I used to enjoy reading books. I used to enjoy reading books with my mom. We would stay up at night, be all cozy on the couch and just read. And then we, we would occasionally stop and share what we've read with each other. And that's one thing I miss. I do miss reading with my mom. I do miss reading books. And I remember whenever I would finish a book, I would always say, Oh my god, that was the best book ever. <laughs> I would say that until I would read the next book. And then that book would become the best book ever. Um, the only other hobby I could think of is when, is, yeah, that's pretty much the only hobby I could think of that I miss. Because I pretty much try to, to do everything else that I enjoy doing. And uh, question number 17 says, do you want SL children? And if you have them, how many? Well, I don't have any SL children. And I think that... I think it'd be fun to have um, a Zuby baby. I think that'd be kind of cool because, like the Zuby babies, how they grow. I think that's kind of cool. We've uh, Karina and I have looked into those before, and how they can like follow you around and they grow, and then you have to take care of them. I think having a Zuby baby would be really cool. Having actual children, like having somebody role play as my kid. I think that'd be kind of cool too, and maybe later on down the line, if I ever meet somebody and hit it off and get married and start a family, I don't know. It just, it's not in my agenda at the moment. So, question number eighteen: How many SL relationships have you had? None. <laughs> I haven't had any since I joined here. I. <laughs> I have, you know, Karina and I, we have gone out, we have gone to clubs, we, where the people usually stand around and not say anything and not talk. Even people I have tried to talk to don't really, it's like they're, they're there, but they're not there. Like they just go there to park or something, and I don't know, it's really weird. Or maybe they're off in private conversations with other people, and they just totally ignore you. I don't know what it is. But um, it's not like I wouldn't want to have a relationship on here. Don't know if I'd have a time for a relationship on here since I'm not on here all day long. But um, maybe one day, possibly in the near future, who knows. Question number 19. Have you ever met anyone in real from SL? Well, I haven't been on SL long enough to really even meet anybody on here and got that close to to even consider meeting in real. I, I don't go on these places. I don't go on places like IMVU or Second Life to meet anybody in real. That's not why I go on here. That's not my purpose. My purpose is really just to go on here to have a place to hang out with with um, my bestie so we can hang out together. Since we can't be together in real, since we live states away, this is kind of like our way to actually be together in real without it being real. Um, but I would like to meet her one day. That would be really super cool to meet her in real one day. That would be nice. Question number 20. What do you hope to achieve with your YouTube? Um, for this channel, I do have another, I do have another YouTube channel that is more like my main channel. This YouTube, the YouTube channel right here, this channel is not me. This channel is just for my life on Second Life. So it's most, this is all just about Second Life. It's not about anything else. Um, so 
here, it'd be nice if more people, I guess, saw watch my videos. <laughs> um, if I could entertain people, I just want to entertain. I like to make people laugh. Um, I like to show the crazy things that can happen, you know, on a day-to-day -day basis in Second Life and how much fun it can be here, how we don't always have to be so serious or take life so serious because life in the real world is serious enough, okay? When we come here, we should have fun. We should be more outgoing. We should be more spontaneous um, and just enjoy life and have fun and, and explore this wonderful world. I mean, think about it, how easy it is that you could just hit a TP and BAM you're there or you can fly you know or you can just swim anywhere and it's just amazing how I like to um, just show everybody more people hopefully this wonderful world and that's why I started the exploring videos because I wanted to show people how that it could be funny here it doesn't have to be so serious guys and I guess that's what I just want to achieve. I just want to—I want to make people laugh. You know, I want people make want. I want to make people smile. Um, I want them to have get more fun into their lives again, and not be so like down or or so serious. You know, why so serious? You know, so that's what I hope to achieve with this with this with this um, channel is to reach more people and just. Um, say, you know, smile and laugh and have some fun. Because life is too short, right? So, the last question on the list is question number 21, which says, What's one thing you want your... What's one thing you want your viewers to know about you? Um, I don't know. Uh, that I'm a friendly person. I'm easy to talk to, I think. I think I'm pretty easily approachable. Um, I'm, you know, I'm talkative. I like to talk. I like to listen. I like to meet people. Um, I like to have fun. I like to learn about you. I like to learn about others. And... And then I tend to sometimes be a little quiet or a little shy, but at the same time, you know, I just, it's only because I have a hard time sometimes letting people in, letting people, you know, into like the real, like what I'm really, really, really about. But I just, you know, want to say, you know, that I'm a friendly, I'm a pretty easily approachable person. If any of you have, have spoken to me or met me, you know, you would see that. So I guess that's it. So that is a 21 questions um, about my life here on SL. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments below. If you enjoyed any part of this video, let me know. And I would suggest that if you guys want to join in on this, um, I will put the information in the description box below. And that I will be currently, will be hopefully working on another explore video this week so look forward to that and the Se secret cell sunday videos i put out um i try to put out sunday mornings as early as i possibly can other than that guys have a beautiful rest of your day or night or evening or whatever time it is that you watch this and i just you know wanted to say that Thank you for watching. <laughs> Thank you for subscribing to me. And I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.